let me finish what I started. Um, namely, streaming this thingy. So to measure wrapped wise, I want to plop that right there. I want to grab a look at the loop. So I'm always going to end up wanting that hanging around. And I need to grab the loops up here. Oops, that's the wrong one. No, wait, it's the right one. I just put that other one in the wrong spot. You do not go there, you silly one. You go right there. These tab like so, and these tab like so. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that's true. Even though it's not wireless, the storm can still affect the lines that we have hanging from the sky. So... Yes, that is how it could be affected. Okay. In order to measure the wraps in the Y, we pass in the wraps that we're actually going to fill the advance. Yes, 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 font height. Why do I pass in advance data and stride, actually? That doesn't make any sense. So, it's gone. That doesn't happen. That's not how it works. That's not how anything works. There we go. Font height, max width. Very good. And then what we do is we say, I'm looking along, um, scratch that, I don't even need this fancy loop. This just abstracts for free, actually, if you're not totally thick, because you just look at your wits array. You don't even care about the data the, at this point. You look at your wits array, you divide by your max wits. Yeah. All right. You and you go there. You go away. You go away. Interesting. If I switch now to the golden array, there should be compiler errors because I changed the signature of that function. Because we don't really need font width in order to measure wrap y positions. Now, buffer get line index from wrapped y isn't working. That's somewhat s interesting. Get line index. Get line index from wrapped Y is right there. It's totally defined right there in buffer abstract. What is the problem here? Oh, you need this. Again, the cursor stuff isn't abstract yet. It's arguable now that I could get at least the three helper versions abstract, though. So I'm going to try that. So rather than this, you 
three, as well as making the cursor hint, can all go into the shared abstractosphere right here. Okay. And that's nice because that means if I pop on over to the gap buffer and I switch its name to buffer cursor seek, I can take out its information about the helpers and the hints. And uh, voila. Yes, and I can now actually get rid of this now. This is going to be really nice. I can also get rid of all of this. That will really help the line count. Oh yeah. Okay, so now the goal is to put this back into the abstractosphere over here. Underneath the main render data, and then probably I'll just not even... Oh, shoot. I'll just probably not even have two layer, two like sets of calls to make. Okay. Okay. So these are gone. Cursor from position. You need a buffer type. Nice. Buffer cursor from position. Buffer cursor from position. Well, unwrapped XY. Buffer cursor from wrapped XY. Oh yeah, okay, back to the other one. So my process here has been basically switching back and forth, making trying to get it to compile on both sides. Okay. Do we still work when I use the golden array? Is the next question. That's good. That's working. Yep, yep, everything appears to work as it is supposed to. Wait, I don't want to do that yet. Now I switch that to a zero, try it again. Interesting. I haven't actually called these yet because the scalpel is removing those. Okay. That's okay. Let's just take another look through all of the things that involve measurement and make sure they're all being enabled now. Measure the wraps. Measuring widths. Measuring wraps, measuring widths, measuring wraps, Okay, so we can't do that yet because I don't have the cursor handling stuff ready. What I should do is actually be a good be a good fellow and at least measure the wraps. Insofar as yeah, the golden array is just um, is just a text is just an array without any gaps or anything fa fancy in it. I just shift stuff to insert stuff, and I shift stuff to delete stuff. Um, 
uh, it's, it's is so named Golden Array because I had said Good Old Array several times, and then someone uh, heard it as Golden Array or something like this happened at one point, and so I went with that name because I liked it. Or maybe someone said Good Old Array and I heard it as Golden Array. Something like that happened, and I thought that it was a fun name. Measure starts, that's all. Yeah, okay. This, this is good now. Measure. All right. Pretty close. Buffer measure wrap Y. What's your problem here? Does not take six arguments. You're right. It does not take this argument. You're right. I don't need that. So you go there and you go there. And you go there. And you go there. Thank you. All right. I don't think that this should have changed at all, but it's part of my protocol today, so we'll just test that everything is good. That's looking pretty good. Yep, that feels pretty good. So let's switch now to the gap buffer. See how we have done. Okay. Ooh. We have ta da. It is working. I wonder if I can scroll all the way to the end. That'll be the test about whether or not it renders over the gap correctly. If it can stream over the gap correctly, then we are in a good place today. Probably haven't gotten to the gap yet because it's about 3,000 lines long, but we're getting close. Close to the gap. Very, very close. Less than a hundred lines now. We might not be there yet. I think we must have passed it by now. Everything appears to still work. Let's check the very bottom. Okay, so that bug is present in both places. So I'll deal with that at some point. But yeah, this is looking. I can't find any problems with it. We're definitely in the second part of the. Uh, we're on the uh, second part of the gap buffer now. We're in the second chunk, and everything is working correctly here. And we pass through the gap correctly. So we I appear to have rendering and metadata. Uh, and cursor seeking is all working across the buffer gap. 
So now it's just to get editing done in the next time I work on this. Once I can do text replaces, um, I'll have all the core functionality, and then there's just a couple more things I need to do via stream so that I can like seek through the file for a word and stuff like that. Which is kind of a tough one, actually. Yep, white space seeking also works, so that's good. Yeah. Alright. Cool. I think I'm going to call this a day. That's been a good six hours, so that's what I was going for. Thank you, everybody, uh, for coming out to the stream at whatever time you came. I'm sure lots of people haven't been here the whole time because it's been a long one, but I appreciate whatever time you spent here. And I will be back sometime later.